guys. Welcome to another YouTube video. I'm Brian Weber. In this video, we're going to talk about configuring bracket orders, otherwise known as OCO orders. So I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways, using the chart and using the DOM. Uh, you pretty much just have to configure it in one of the uh, modules, either the chart or the DOM, and it should be available in either, either one of those modules after it's been created. So let's go. I have the chart open here. Let's go to where it says brackets here. And just if that's not there, just make sure you have trade mode checked here. So if we click this where it says off, so right now if we enter a trade on the chart, do a buy limit, it's just gonna be a naked order. There's no stop loss, there's no target. So if we click off, I already have some pre-configured ones here, but if I wanna make a new one, click the setting box next to it, and then we'll turn, uh, before we turn the brackets on, let's create a new one. So let's do uh, new OCO. Okay. And we can do tick. So we'll have a target profit. TP is target profit and plus SL, which stop loss is SL. Um, highly recommend the first two. If you just do tar target profit only, it means you have no stop loss. Don't recommend that one. So say for the ES, our stop loss is like eight ticks. That's a hundred bucks per contract. And we'll do a 16 tick profit. And our stop will be a market stop order. We want that auto break even would be on. Uh, if we want to use that, um, it's up to you. So what that pretty much will do, say if we hit four, whatever we put here in the amount of ticks, say we get or up four ticks, it'll automatically move our stop to our entry price. But for now, I'm going to leave that off. But just know that that's good if you need to walk away from the computer when you set it. That way, in case you are up and you don't hit your profit target and it comes back, it might stop you out, but it will take you out for break even. So very minimal loss. So in this case, we already have we have one uh, leg on this OCO order. So if I just click save, it's fine. Then we go here back here again. We see the new OCO order here on the drop down. So I click that. So now let's say if I click here, I want to enter an order. Let's just click buy one limit at 29.27. You can already see on the right hand side that we have our entry price at 29.27. And we also have our stop loss that's two points lower because we're going long. And then our target profit's four points higher. So if I click that, it's going to confirm it. So now I have a, an OCO order here. So if this 92927 fills, these two red orders are gonna become active. I'll have a stop and I'll have a limit, limit cell on this case. So if I bring it all the way up here, this will also adjust for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit that. And if I want to use that same OCO order on this DOM, essentially I can use the no OCO, new OCO and same thing. You can see as I'm moving my mouse along the bid here, same with along the ass, you can see where the stop loss and the, the target profit will be. It's highlighted um, appropriately. So I'm gonna cancel that. So let's say for an example, I'm gonna go on the, I'll, I'll create the new bracket order on the DOM. Let's say I want to have two separate OCO orders. Say I want to have take one off at like four ticks and then let a runner go to like eight ticks or something like that. Uh, so what we do here is we'll just hit the plus button. So now we have two different targets. So let's say here we have the same stop loss. Let's move this one to eight. That'd be like a one to one risk reward ratio. And the other one will have a two R risk reward. I won't. I'll keep a stop loss at the stop uh, type and I'll leave the auto break even to off because uh, I'll be paying attention to the trade. So I want to be able to control when I want to move my stop and let's click, uh, let's rename this to something else. Let's do um, OCO. Let's just name it two targets. Okay. Then we'll click save. And now if we come down here, I'm actually just gonna, it's easier to see it on the chart. So if I come down and click two targets. Now before I now before I enter the trade, notice that we have 
two targets here, right? So we need two contracts. Otherwise, only one of these is going to go through. So if we do, we have to move this to two contracts. And now let's say I want to click at 2930 by two limit. Now we have both orders in. So we have two orders going, two contracts going in at 2930. And then we have two, two orders at the stop loss of eight ticks. So we're risking 200 bucks. Here's the first target up two points, eight ticks from the original entry. We'll take one off there. And then the final one will be a 2R at 2934. So just to show you what that looks like, if I were to click buy market, I need to move this to two contracts and then I'll click buy market. So now I have, I'm filled right now two long at 2934.75. I got a stop loss two points lower, which is eight ticks on the ES. And then I got my live orders above for eight ticks and then 16 ticks. And then it's pretty simple if you want to, the more contracts you add, it's possible to go in here and then create another one. Say if you want to have three legs, you can control the quantity here, but make sure whatever OCO that you select, say if you have uh, five contracts that add up to here, you need to make sure that you're selecting five contracts in the uh, the quantity before you enter this trade. Otherwise, it will only fill on the first up to the first leg, so it'll go, it'll fill from left to right. Show you an example. Let's move this to 20. Just see the difference. I'll click save. So I have to move this to five now, right? actually need to move this to the new one of just five targets and then I click uh, click where I want to buy 2930 by five limits click buy to confirm it so we have five going to 2930 then we have five with our two-point stop and then we're taking two off at the two-point target then two off at the four-point target then one more at the I believe that's five points which is 20 ticks so that pretty much wraps up on how to configure and use the OCO orders on your chart and also on the DOM. Um, it's pretty useful and pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop a comment. I'd be happy to help you. If, you're need, if you need a little bit of help on configuring this, I'll point you in the right direction. Um, if you like this video and got some value from it, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click that link, or rather the logo that's popping up now to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. We're going to talk about creating alerts on this platform. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.